Hi everybody! Today is April 9th and it's Thursday and I found out last night right before I went to bed that today is International Unicorn Day. I didn't even know there was a unicorn day. Did you know there was a unicorn day? I didn't know that. So I decided to do a special activity and video for you today because it's International Unicorn Day and I know that some of you really like unicorns and some of you kind of like unicorns and I don't know maybe some of you don't really like unicorns that much but I do know that some of you really like unicorns so I wanted to do a special video so I can show you something that I have at my house about unicorns do you remember in our classroom right before spring break the last time that I saw you guys we had a book in our classroom about unicorns do you remember what it was called it was Thelma the Unicorn. Do you remember that book? In that book, Thelma was not really a unicorn, right? What was what was Thelma really? Do you remember? Thelma was a horse. And she used a carrot that she found, and she tied it on a string on the top of her head and made it look like a unicorn horn. And then a truck came by, and there was a bunch of pink paint and glitter in that truck, and it spilled, and that made... Thelma, pink and glittery, with a horn that was really a carrot, but she looked like a unicorn, remember? And then she went all around the world, and people loved seeing her when she was a unicorn, and she was really happy, but then people also were not very kind to her sometimes, um, and said that they didn't like unicorns. Do you remember that part? And then she also decided, you know what? I don't really want all this attention all the time. I think I want to go back and be with my friend Otis. So she took off the carrot, and she washed off the paint, and she went back home to her friend Otis, the horse. And they hung out underneath their favorite tree. And Otis said, you know what? I love you just the way you are, and sometimes it's great to be just who you are. Do you remember that book? Well, there's a second book. The Return of Thelma the Unicorn. So I'm going to read this book to you. And I will do my best to show the pages, but it's a little bit hard because I'm trying to do it on my camera. Just like when you guys are trying to show me things on your camera, sometimes it's hard to see what's going on on the camera and what's going on in my hand at the same time. So I'll do my best, all right? So do you see these missing posters? Somebody hung up a poster that says, missing, Thelma is missing. They're trying to find Thelma. Because remember, at the end of the last book, she had taken off her unicorn horn and washed off all the paint. So now they don't know where Thelma is. It says, Thelma felt a little shocked. In fact, she felt quite torn. You see, she made the whole world sad. We missed our unicorn. There's Thelma looking at a sign that says, where is Thelma? Thelma, please come back. From every corner of the earth, her fans did wail and cry. Thelma, Thelma, please come back. Why did you leave us? Why? See, everybody's all upset. You see this person down here crying? They don't know where Thelma is. Thelma's best friend, Otis, and her all-time greatest fan said, Gee, they really miss you. We should help them if we can. Help them, blurted Thelma. You mean dress up like before? They don't need phony unicorns. Of that, I am quite sure. But Otis shook his shaggy head and said, I think they do. You're not phony. You're the best. And what they miss is you. You made people happy. They felt cheerful for a while. Who cares if it's a costume? Thelma, you made people smile. There's nothing wrong with make-believe. You can be a star. You see up here? There's a cloud that looks like the shape of a unicorn. Do you ever lay outside and look at the clouds? That could be something really fun to do one of these days when it's nice out. If you go outside, and you lay in the grass and with somebody that you love or maybe by yourself, you look at the clouds and try and figure out what do you see when you look at the clouds? What kinds of shapes can you see? As long as you remember what you love and who you are. But 
Last time it was scary. Oh, and some of them were mean. Well, this time you'll have backup. I am here for you, my queen. He says, I'll be your friend. We'll get through this together. But I don't have my outfit. How can I disguise my face? Otis said, I kept this and some glitter just in case. So just like that, they hit the road. What that means is they, they went somewhere. Not they really hit the road. It means they went somewhere. They barely stopped to pack. They both had lots of work to do. You see Thelma getting all dressed up in there? The unicorn was back. Look at how excited everybody is. There's Thelma. She's back. She's on all the signs. Everybody's excited. The whole wide world was overjoyed. Her friends all went berserk. That means they went crazy. But this time Thelma had her friend, and that's what made it work. Sometimes when something's really hard, if you find somebody you love and see if they'll help you through it, it's a lot easier. Her fabulousness exploded like a joyful glitter bomb, while Otis cheered her from the wings. Girl, get your sparkle on! Lives were changed, and fun was had, and love was in the air, and at the end of every day, her friend was always there. Otis watched her spread the love. He felt so very proud. Thelma could just do her thing. He handled every crowd. So when people came to be unkind, or mock, or diss, or scoff, she felt so brave and happy. She could always shake it off. What that means is when something's bothering you, you can just kind of shake it off, shake it off. Let it not bother you anymore. And on days off, they'd cuddle up beneath their favorite tree, and Otis would recite these words as Thelma smiled with glee. The world may not be perfect. Yes, a rose may have its thorns, but one thing is for certain, the world needs unicorns. The end. I hope you like that special unicorn book on International Unicorn Day. I miss you. Mwah! Bye!